Hi, my name is Dr Caroline Elber Ramsey and I'm the Deputy Head of the School of Education, Language and Psychology here at York St John University. And my area of research interest is feedback. So in the 21st century, we always seem to be talking about feedback. We're asked to give feedback on the drivers on the road, people who deliver packages to our house and our experience in shops, online or otherwise. But how do we feel when we receive feedback ourselves? Are we always eager to receive it, seeing as it a constructive signpost to future learning? Probably not, as feedback is often an experience that carries complex emotional, relational and moral conceptions, as well as, as, well as the pedagogical dimensions that are assumed to be at its core. Pedagogical conceptions may be informed by education policy and practice, may be related to particular feedback strategies, or may be based on a formative or summative understanding of the purpose of feedback itself. In relational terms, feedback can also carry understandings around being known and cared for by the person providing the feedback, which is likely to influence the feedback take up. And there are also moral dimensions. Is feedback a mechanism for making a difference? Is feedback reciprocal? And do learners have a duty to engage with it? Or is our understanding of what is right and wrong in feedback distorted by, by what policy badges as good practice or an indicator of quality assurance. In my book, Understanding Feedback, a Critical Exploration for Teacher Educators, I look at these understandings from the view of a student teacher. Student teachers occupy a unique position as they're both learners receiving feedback, practising teachers giving feedback, and are also judged against standards related to feedback as part of their professional qualification. They also become student teachers after their own feedback experiences as pupils at school all of which will inform the way they understand feedback. So the book not only explores the different and often contradictory conceptions of feedback that can be understood at the same time, but also investigates how being both a learner and a teacher can influence these understandings. For example, does receiving difficult feedback as a learner make us more sensitive in the phrasing of feedback we give to others? The answer is sometimes. But just as feedback is complex, the relationship between teacher and learner is often much more complicated than we first might assume. Indeed, the powerful, often high stakes agenda that education operates within makes this picture even messier, given that particular types of feedback can be comprised, monitored and judged. One thing is clear, however, feedback can be understood in many different ways and that these understandings are informed by our experiences and the roles we occupy, whether that be as a teacher or a learner.